Hello, and welcome to Euro Meeting 2007, which will be held by Roundtable Chapter 65 in Kopavik, Norway. Kopavik is found on an island, Karme, in the province of Rogaland, in the southwest corner coast of Norway, which some regard in Norway, of course, well, at least we do, as the most beautiful part of the country. When you get here and see for yourself, you will be enlightened by how beautiful the light is, how wonderful the food is, how friendly the people are. And you, you couldn't come at a better time. We'll be celebrating our national holiday, the 17th of May. And when you get here, you'll see, in fact, just how special this holiday is. During the course of this little video presentation, you'll see a little bit of the Viking life that still exists very strongly in Norway. Or, wait a minute, do we have a Viking coming in? What? Ro okay, 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 everyone, have a look here. This is Roger Olsen from RT65 in Copenhagen coming over the hill here. He'll welcome you and you and I will talk later. Bye for now. Hi, Roger.
this just in. In order to prepare for Euromeeting 2007, some of the united members of the RT65 in Kolpovic decided to get together to get in shape. So what did they do? They went out to a field. They began the day by peeing all together, since when you're in a group, then a group sticks together. They went jogging and running together to build up strength and endurance. After that, they had climbed treacherous mountains, avoiding snakes, rocks, scorpions, and other dangerous things that you'll find in Norway. Well, no, that's actually a lie. Nothing's dangerous in Norway, except for this guy. And this guy. They're very proud of their country. Look how he looks at his flag. Oh yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. And this guy right here putting on his clothes, his name is Roger. Roger the Viking. You had seen him in the previous video. He's not that dangerous. It's actually, as I mentioned before, this guy that you gotta look out for. What the heck is he doing there? Jumping around, pulling up his clothes, his army clothes, mind you, to then jump around like a fool. Let us give you good advice. Do not drink with this guy. His name is Ova. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. As far as the rest of the gang is concerned, they are completely harmless. They even have difficulty speaking their own language. So when you come up here, do not expect to have a conversation with them. These are simple types. These are the type of men, well, you can smile, but if they smile back at you, hmm, None of the rest of us in our group can take responsibility for their actions. Look at this guy. Do you want to be his friend? Look at that guy. Do you want to be his friend? Well, it's up to you. But actually, all in all, these guys, even these guys, are all right. There is nothing wrong with them. Well, aside from the fact that the state is supporting them. Their wives have left them, all five of them. But look at this guy. No wonder. Would you marry him? What the heck is he doing with that gun? Oh, he's having a real good time, and if that wasn't enough, he's just doing it some more. What the heck is he doing with that gun? Did you enjoy the video? Were we kind of kooky, strange, I don't know, somehow gay or something? Well, don't worry, we're not. In fact, we're just a bunch of good friends, brothers, round table brothers, brothers with you, our other brothers who are gonna come up here and just have a great time. So when you do come, bring, bring, bring lots of good spirit and some good spirits, and uh, we're gonna have the time of our lives. Why? Well, because we love you. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. That was kind of stupid. Um, ich möchte auch einfach zu die Leute im Deutschland sagen, dass nicht alle von uns da unten kommen könnten. Und uh, wir möchten einfach sagen Glückwunsch, weil das ist jetzt euer Jahr und wir hoffen, dass alles wirklich gut geklappt hat. Und bis bald nächstes Jahr im Norwegen. We'll see you next year at Euro Meeting 2007. Bye bye.